Hello, my name is Freddy Shota and welcome to another session of techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session we will learn how to download and install Trimble Access Installation Manager. Okay, we'll start off by going to neigps.com and you'll see our support tab and we'll go to our surveying support documentation. After our page loads, we can go to our software downloads, and in our list, you'll see Trimble Access Installation Manager Installer. Click on View. We'll see down here, it started our download of our software. Once our file is downloaded, we'll find the folder that it was downloaded to. On this computer, it was defaulted to go to our download folder. We'll run the install file. Windows will pop up a security warning. What do we want to do with this file? We'll run it, and the installer will guide you through the process of actually installing the software. We'll go next. The license agreement, we read through this and make sure you agree to all terms. Next, it's going to ask what folder do you want to install it to. I'm going to let it just default to the program files folder, and we'll confirm the install by selecting next. And now the Installation will happen with Trimble Access. Installation complete. We have launched Access Installation Manager checked. So as soon as we close this, it should start up our newly installed program. So in this session, we'll show how to update Trimble Access on your TSC3 controller. We'll start off by connecting your controller to your computer via USB cable. You will need Windows Mobile Device Center to set up your device. You'll see as soon as I plug in it shows that the TSC3 is connected to the computer. We'll open up our program Trimble Access Installation Manager and it will connect to the device. At this point it's ensuring that the installation manager is up to date and it recognized the TSC3 controller and it's actually going out to the server right now and seeing what versions are available for your TSC3 controller. You can see on this particular controller we're eligible for 2013.42. We can select versions and if we go into this tab you'll see 2013.42 is the latest version at this time. Through Trimble Access Installation Manager you can install some additional applications the additional applications offered are roads, tunnels, mines, monitoring, and also some that are offered to the partners. If you hit the information button next to it, it tell you which each module will do. This will give you a 30-day trial to it. So on this controller, we're going to install tunnels. Select the check mark next to tunnel and hit create license. You can create an account to register this device underneath your name. Right now, this particular device is registered to myself, so I'll log in. It'll tell me a license has been created. I now have a 30-day trial that I can install to this unit. It's getting a list of updates for my device. In my license applications tab, it'll now show the tunnels. I can hit install. It'll start the installation process of the tunnels module. I'll have to close out access on my device, and it'll install tunnels. We'll make sure that our language, desired language, is selected. In this case, it'll be English and we can hit install. We'll make sure we have a valid license for our device and now the message it has given me is to close out Trimble Access on the device so it can start its process. So I'll close out Access and you'll see the update begin here shortly. While this update is in process, we have an option right here for release note. We can select that and it will bring us to Trimble Connected Community website and let us know all the new stuff that's released with this version. So we can open up release notes, hit download it as a PDF, and it will give us all our information that is new for Trimble Access version 2013.42. All right, so our installation is now complete, and our device is being reset, and shortly it will connect back up to the computer. All right, now our device is connected back with Windows Mobile Device Center. Access Installation Manager just recognized the device and it gives us the information that your device is up to date and ready to use. Our last option is finish and Trimble Access Installation Manager will close out 
and we're ready to use our updated Trimble Access on our TSC3 controller. This concludes today's session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and the training class schedule. Thank you.